Good morning, or oh, depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice the radio, and a bit of a beard for quarantine. So today, we've got a lovely new product. The Champion's Path Marnie Special Collection came out today, and I figured if I didn't buy one and open it, that might be a little bit rude. Now, there are actually two versions of this product, and I did, there was a part of me standing in the shop, Trying to decide which of the two to buy. And the reason is... Now this one comes with five packs. Two promos, the jumbo and one pin. The other one comes with eight packs. Doesn't have the jumbo, has a second pin and has a playmat. The playmat for what it's worth looks exactly like the poster I get in this one. Didn't realise I even had a poster. Poster looks a bit like that. Which to be fair is a pretty cool poster. You got Marnie with Grim Snarl and Morpico. But I'm not a gigantic Marnie fan. I quite like Morpico. Don't like Grim Snarl. It was not high on my list, shall we say. And I got the two promos. I didn't really want a Grim Snarl pin. But it essentially ended up as an extra 20 quid for three packs, a mat, and a pin. Which is not terrible. That's a decent price. But I, I didn't think I could justify it right now. Not with all the other Pokemon expenses. Speaking of which. Pay attention to this channel. It should be Thursday. According to the text I got today, it should be Thursday. I am expecting on Thursday to do a very, very cool opening indeed. There is a very special product coming on Thursday, which... um, Just just, just come back on Thursday and check it out. It's going to be awesome. So we get ourselves a lovely more Pico promo. It is just an alternate art version of the one that came around in Sword and Shield. There is nothing new or special. This one, honestly, we expected it to be good. And early signs out of Japan were that it was good. And then it kind of dropped off the face of the earth and never did anything. I'm using my sleeves from the Elite Trainer Box, because why not? Now, we also get ourselves a Grim Snarl promo. And again, this is an alternate art version of the one that came around in Darkness Ablaze. And it's it's fine. But it's not overtaking the format. Though it did pop up in that Drapion deck I showed you a couple of days ago. So you never know. And a Jumbo Grim Snarl promo. I don't know. I got the Jumbo one for Dubwall. And I don't know. I've been picking up the Jumbo promos from games. So yeah. Why not I suppose. Why not. Now I'm expecting there to be a code card in here somewhere. Yes there's a code card. Just to give me those promos in the game. In PTCGO. And I play way too much PTCGO. And I've dropped the pin. It's down here somewhere. Aha! And a lovely hangry pin. Now this, I didn't really care about the Grim Snarl pin. This I did care about. And the reason is, if you've been watching my channel, you'll notice the other day I opened a Sword and Shield pin collection. With the regular version of Morpico. So now I've got both the Morpico, and I don't know if I'm ever going to be lucky enough to stream again for Pokemon. I don't even know if, if there's going to be streams in the, in the future. But, I mean, this thing's got to end at some point, right? But if I ever am lucky enough, I can switch between my Morpico pins. Nice and early in the morning, regular Morpico. Oh, it's getting towards lunch. Hangry Morpico. I've had lunch and I'm happy. Regular Morpico. And so on and so forth. That makes me very happy indeed. But let's face it. I love me some Champion's Path. I've um, I've taken to this set in a way I've not taken to other sets in the past. Even though really when you're opening, all you're doing is Charizard hunting. Don't even care. Hey, maybe we'll pull a Charizard, eh? That would be nice. We did pull two, to be fair. We've had our allotment. But the last opening we did was like, we did a, what did we open? We opened two pin collections. They were full bore garbage. So there's a Scraggy. And a Rockruff, and a Vulpix, and a Galarian Lanoon, and a Full Heal, uh, Psychic Energy, a Great Ball, Sonya, Rotom Bike, Rev Hollow Scrafty, and... Ah, oh, man! Like, don't get me wrong, Professor's Research is a phenomenal supporter card. Discard your hand, draw seven cards. It's great, it's a staple in almost every deck, and that is a hollow version of it. There's no argument that Professor's Research is a, is a good card or not, it definitely is. The argument is, I've opened so many of them in Champion's Path. I do feel like I had a couple of really good openings with Champion's Path. And then since then, I just keep opening packs. And it's starting to not pay off anymore. 
And there's a part of me that, that should stop. I may also just do another opening tomorrow. Who knows? So there's a Nicket. There's a Swablu. There's a Machop. There's a Galarian Zigzagoon. There's a Vulpix. Bit of the old fire energy. There is a Sharpedo. A Hyper Potion. A Hatterum. A Rev Holo Vulpix. And a Machamp. And look, I've gone on record as saying I love this Machamp. Incidentally, I have been testing it. I have yet to find a Machamp build that I like better than Excadrill. Excadrill... Now, Escadrill is awkward. Escadrill doesn't always set up. But when Escadrill sets up, and it's in a lot of games, it, it sets up well, it just has the odd game here and there. When it sets up, I genuinely don't think it loses to anything other than Zashian ADP. And maybe, maybe tag Zashian, depending how the game goes. And I've not found a way to get Machamp into my Escadrill deck to actually make it better. But I've opened so many Machamp. And at least three, if not a full playset of Reverse Hollow Machamp. And the Promo Machamp. Right, three packs left. We've got to pull something good. This was not that cheap a box. This box was, well, we'll talk about it in a second. It was not hideously cheap. Uh, there's a Psychic Energy. There's an Absol. Haven't had a Rev Hollow Energy for ages. All right, Machoke. Rev Hollow Purloin. And... Oh, come on! There has got to be something in these last two packs. Because after the opening we just did last week with the um, with the pin collections that I bought to get the Grookey on the Ball promos. These ones. And incidentally, I did get a Grookey on the Ball promo from buying this. So, it's not the end of the world. But, oh my goodness, I need to pull something out of these. There's got to be something good in the last couple packs. Because this is, this is shaping up to be just a garbage opening. And this was not a particularly cheap product. And yeah, we got the promos and the promos are lovely. And we got the pin and I do love the pin. But I was agonizing over whether to get the regular or the supersized box. I plumped for the regular. The supersized one was 20 quid more. I'm regretting my decision right now. Wrote on phone. And... Uh, Seriously? This is... I mean, so far, we've had two match and percent discussion of Professor's research. Now, generally speaking, most Champions Pass stuff comes out about £5 a pack. The pin collections, three packs, £16, tiny bit over. The double V collection, £21, four packs, tiny bit over. Same with the Hatterene V collection. The uh, the Elite Trainer Box was £52.50, which is more... In the US, it's $50, and a pound is worth more than a dollar, and yet we pay fifty two fifty. That's not fair. And you get five, 10 packs. That's about just, well, £5.25, just a little bit over. Although, to be fair, I've had pretty good pulls so far from the Elite Trainer Boxes. They worked out quite well. As it stands at the moment, my entire pulls... From this Elite Trainer box, uh, sorry, not, uh, from the mining collection, two matchups sent Scorch Professor's Research. It has turned out utter garbage so far. Um, and yeah, we got the promos and the pin, but we, we need something out of this last pack. It's got to be something good in here. Or else this is just a waste of my money. Right. Rev Hollow Galarian Lanoon. Ah! Really? We didn't even get a Pokemon V. We didn't even get a single Pokemon V from that. Wow. Ever heard of the phrase buyer's remorse? Because <laughs> I've opened, you've seen on the chat, I've opened a bunch of Champions Paths so far, right? Um, I got loads of Zygarde, I got loads of Sensecorch, loads of Machamp. There's still a few Pokemon V I haven't pulled. This was... I think disappointing would be a very understated way to put it. Now, we did get the two promos. The promos are cool. We did get the pin. The pin is cool. Oh, they've gone. They've gone. But as it stands at the moment, ladies and gentlemen, the, 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 the hollows we got. Remember in Champions Path, every pack you get a hollow or better. What we ended up with was two kind of playable hollows. A supporter card that I've got a million of, and these two are trash. These are bad cards. Wow. That worked out well, didn't it? Yay. I almost regret getting sleeves out to sleeve the cards up. 
Boo! Never mind. Right. The good news is I've got another opening coming tomorrow. Hopefully that one's going to be a little bit better. Because this one was not good. I'm going to go and have a little bit of a cry now. Should have bought the bigger box. But then again, the bigger box had eight packs. And I might have pulled even worse. Well, I couldn't have pulled worse, to be fair. I almost couldn't have pulled worse. I don't know. Maybe if you swap out the match amps for something. I don't know. You know the deal. Comment, like, subscribe. This was fun. Bye.